What's up you guys? So this is going to be like a really quick informal, informative video on a few of the AliExpress vendors that I have dealt with within the past few months and I'm really totally not happy with them and even if they're not from AliExpress I'm pretty sure they have an AliExpress store because they are located in China so first of all let's start off with VIP hair with their melting closure um, I finally did get around to making the wig and I actually got a new closure from them however they were pissing me off so much about just going on and on and on about when am I going to update the video with the new closure it was just like a lot of mess and I really don't feel like Listen, I already gave you a chance and that particular chance you did not come through your closure melted and on top of that I really don't think that the hair in my particular opinion was that great like to me honestly the hair was not up to par it wasn't like one of the best hairs that I have ever ever seen or dealt with you know what I'm saying so that to me was like a no-no with a VIP hair on AliExpress like I've seen quite a few videos on YouTube where they're giving them great reviews and they're talking so great about them but the hair was so ratty and tangly um, after I washed it as I was straightening it it was breaking off the closure melted the ends didn't look that great and healthy there was just like a lot of different things with that particular hair that I was not satisfied with and even though yeah they replaced the closure for me no big deal to them but to me it was a lot and I'm just gonna say this once I do a video for you and regardless of the outcome of it and if you don't like the video then I'm sorry but this is just my channel and it's basically my honest opinion and with that being said I'm going to give it to the audience the way it should be given to them which is truthfully if your fucking closure melted your goddamn closure melted there's 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 nothing else to it but your closure melted now I'm not going in any particular order with these vendors there's just a few that I wanted to mention to you guys um, because I know a lot of people wanted me to do a video on my top vendors and I will get around to doing that but for right now there are some things that need to be addressed with a lot of these AliExpress hair vendors and with that being said VIP beauty hair is one of them so just be really really cautious about the quality of hair that you get from them if you plan and tend to purchase from them then by all means just keep in mind that your closure may melts okay so yes now the next one is called Hebe hair now I did a video for them and actually the video was two weeks ago it's now on private and I placed it on private because for one, the company was more or less kind of like they scammed me, they robbed me, okay? For my video, my recording time, my editing time, and everything. They were supposed to pay me to do a video. They wanted it rushed, done quicker than normal because I let people know it takes like five to six weeks to get a video from me done, especially if it's a hair video. And if you want it done before that, then you'd have to pay me, of course, extra, whatever, they contacted me and I did the video. The video was five minutes and 46 seconds. They were upset because I didn't show the hair in the beginning of the video. Now let's just talk about this. It's hair. It all looks the same coming out of plastic. I don't really feel like I need to waste too much time showing you hair straight out of the package like I normally would do. I kind of cut that out of my videos just to cut out time because I'm pretty sure not everybody does that and not everybody wants to see that and even though it's just out the package you really don't know the quality of the hair because it's still in the package of course you can tell it's gonna smell but then you wash that smell away and it's not there anymore so okay well they wanted the video to honestly be more than 5 minutes and 46 seconds. They had wanted it to be like 10. But here's my thing. I'm not going to sit on here for 10 minutes and talk about nothing. I feel like 5 minutes and 46 seconds is great. You know what I'm saying? So in return, what did the young lady do? Her name was Cherry, I think. Rain. Her name was Rain. She was very rude to me in the email. She told me I will do another video over and which I will do as she says to do because that is the professionalism that they expect. I had to let her know in advance you're not going to disrespect me and talk to me that way because we don't do videos like that okay it is what I say it is and it is what it goes and if you don't like that well then I'm sorry to tell you but I don't really feel like I need to waste my viewers time five extra minutes or you know what I'm saying four minutes and 15 seconds extra on nonsense 
I got the video out there. The hair was styled nicely. I thought it was great quality. And I said that in the video, I gave it a great review. On a scale of one to 10, to me, the hair was like a seven and a half. They didn't like my honesty about that. I'm sorry, but you're not gonna get a 10. It, you're just not gonna get a motherfucking 10. And that was that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, you're not getting a 10, my honest opinion. And I did say the hair had a smell and it washed away. So what? I did say it washed away, so what are you so paranoid about? Well. Well, she decided to not answer any more of my emails and not pay me. So with that, I let them know that I will place your video on private and I'm also going to let YouTube people know like, okay, yeah, your hair did stink and yeah, your mannerism is really fucked up and therefore I'm not going to deal with people like that. You're not going to scam and use me, you know what I'm saying, to do a video for you and think that you're going to get away with it. So with he be hair on AliExpress, I'm not like a huge fan of this, regardless of their quality. A seven is not a 10, okay? A seven is a little bit past a five. It's a little bit past a half mark. And with that being said, for the price that they offer hair, you can get better quality hair elsewhere on AliExpress. It's just about going around and looking. And that's just the bottom line. So yes, he be hair on AliExpress. They did rob me for my money. And you know, um, with that, you know what I'm saying, was really grimy and shit like that. And I made it my business to put it out there. Don't purchase from them. And I will post their link below as well as is Rain's personal email address for he be hair because I don't think it's cool that you can go and scam somebody for doing a video and then get pissed off because they were honest in a video review and on top of that the video was five minutes and 46 seconds okay hey whatever the next one I want to talk about is this one right here, which is called thegoodhair.com. Okay, now as you guys can see, the hair is still in the box. Really nice packaging, what have you, you know what I'm saying? Great packaging. Actually, today is a Wednesday, and I got this hair on Monday. So I have three bundles of kinky straight hair. I got this hair, like I said, on Monday. And on Tuesday evening, I went to my notifications on YouTube and was reading some of them. On four of my videos, this company, the Good Hair Company, they deleted their comments. However, I did screenshot my notifications where you can see it, and I will post it in this video. Um, did they actually, now like I said, I got this Monday. Monday afternoon, today is Wednesday. On Tuesday evening, the very next day, within 24 hours, they were leaving all kind of comments on four of my videos. And the comments were actually all the same. They called me, cheater, cheater, you not respond to my email. Why you not respond to my email? You are a cheater, 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 liar. Now, first of all, like I had to tell them, don't disrespect me on none of my videos because I just got the hair on Monday and it's Tuesday and you going off on me because I didn't respond to an email. Let's just get this straight. First of all, I was recovering from coming out of surgery. Second of all, even if I wasn't recovering from coming out of surgery, don't disrespect me because it's like within 24 hours that I got your hair. I don't have to respond to you, okay, if I really don't want to. Your hair video, like I said, was within four to five weeks. Uh, six weeks and at that time frame is only one day. I just got the hair yesterday But on top of that you calling me out of my name. I'm a cheater I had to let them know in an email you're a fucking asshole First of all learn your English because I'm nowhere a cheater That is not the language that you use nor do you fucking disrespect me like that But you're a fucking asshole and I'm not gonna do your review now I said, So if you want your hair back you can get your hair back But because you're disrespectful to me I'm not gonna fucking do your review and now you post it on my videos for everyone to see what type of company you are so with that being said did he write me back I was like you send me my hair back let me tell you something you'll get your motherfucking hair back when I feel like sending it back and I'm not gonna send it back and pay to send it back to China that's not what I'm gonna do like I said you can send me a shipping label to get it back to you and if you don't do that then I guess you're not getting your motherfucking hair back now do I feel bad about it no I really don't feel bad about it because it's just hair Hair is one thing. It's just motherfucking hair. There's a thin line between respect and non-disrespect with me. Like, disrespect and not and respect. You're not about to disrespect me because you feel like you got one over on me because you own a hair company. I could care fucking less about your raggedy ass fucking hair or anything else for that matter. Okay? I don't give a fuck if you pay me to do the video. You didn't pay me yet. You can keep your motherfucking money and then you can send me a shipping label to get your hair back. 
other than that, I'm not wasting my coins and my hard earned money to send you back some hair that you started on bullshit with. Like, who goes on somebody's video within 24 hours and starts calling them all kind of names? This is the problem with these vendors. They feel like because they send you a free motherfucking product that they have the audacity and the right to disrespect you and call you out your motherfucking name. Let me tell you something. I don't give a fuck if you send me a fucking computer, a car, some hair, some clothing, some jewelry, whatever the case may be. You ain't about to disrespect me, okay? That's one thing you ain't about to do. And you're not about to fucking lie and cheat and steal from me because I gave an honest review. If you don't like my hair review, then I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you shouldn't have clicked on my fucking channel because, for one, I do use vulgar language in some cases. For two, my videos are authentic and real and I'm telling like it is. So if you are scared of those two main things, then I suggest you click off and go to the next bitch channel, okay? That's just my whole take on it. So, yes, thegoodhair.com, you can kiss my motherfucking ass. And when I feel like giving your hair back, you'll get it back. But you won't get it back from me until you send me a shipping label. I don't feel like I need to waste my money on sending you something back because you was disrespectful on my videos. Now, had I just decided on my own out of the clear blue, you know what? I don't feel like doing your video. I'm just not into, into it. I'm not in the mood. Then, okay, that's all on me. Then I should pay you or I should pay to send the hair back. But not if you went on four of my videos and left me all kind of name calling after I got the hair 24 hours. I'm not sending you, I'm not going in my pocket to send anything back to you. And if you don't send the shipping label in a timely manner, well, guess what? A bitch will be having some hair right here and I won't give a fuck. So yes, that is my take on certain companies. There's another company that I wanted to let you guys know of and I really can't think of their name off the top of my head, but trust and believe I will post it right here for you guys. Um, I did get a wig, I did make a wig out of their hair bundles and it wasn't that great. It was just so thin and shabby and it was four bundles and for something like that, I just wasn't the best quality and I wasn't too enthused or happy with it. But yes, you know, with each vendor, you're going to find ups and downs and you're going to find con artists and, and non-con artists. My thing is this, just make sure that you watch videos and reading comments to make sure that you get the best quality hair. But sometimes the quality may be great, but the mannerism may not be. And I just feel like if you are rude, disrespectful, lying, cheating, swindling, then you get no props from me or no business. So on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay diva and divalicious. And I'll make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on a soon to come video. And if you're in case you're wondering about the hair that I'm wearing, this is the Friday Night Synthetic Hair, color red and GLS 56. <laughs>